Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. It's been uh, a few weeks since I've done a video. There's been a lot of changes in my studio. We've basically overhauled the whole thing and it's not quite up to standard yet, but hubby um, set up my filming section so I can film. So I thought I'd um, start the day with a pencil case uh, collection video. I mentioned it on my Instagram a little while ago and there was a lot of people saying yes so I hope this setup is okay. Um, it's my first video trying it so hopefully the camera isn't too bouncy. There's a whole lot of Frankensteining attachments over to this side of me where my camera is and hopefully it's not too bouncy. That's my only issue is I think it might be a tad bouncy but I'll re-watch this back and see uh, what it's like and if it's bad then we'll need to rethink things. Okay so I have a small addiction um, to pencil cases and things that hold pens and I have quite a few so I thought I'd just show you there's still more over this side um, I thought I'd show you what I have um, a lot of these were gifts because people know me really well and it's pro I'm probably one of the easiest persons to buy for paper and stationery and pens and you've got me on, on my knees and excited so um, some of these are still brand new and don't get as much love as I need to but um, I have my favorites this is a typo one um, and this was a gift and I have used this one, there's pen ink on the side already. Um, typo makes them, they, they come out with some really cute pen cases. And this one says, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. So it's a dual zip. I think I have a couple of typo pencil cases because I do really love them. So there's that one, it's very me with the pinks and the purples and the polka dots. And then I have another typo one. This onesie still has the tag on it. So this was a gift. This is a cup of tea is always a good idea and I truly believe that. So this is just a single zip one with pink lining. So this one hasn't had a run yet, but give me time. I will work my way through. So that, that one, let me see if I have any more. Yeah, more typo ones here. So I'll grab a couple of my typo ones out. Uh, this one is just a plain um, pink clear one and I use this mainly in my handbag for my um, bits and bobs that get sort of lost in the, the big part of my handbag and it's got stuff all over it but this one is a really handy one, it's very sturdy too so I really like this one. It's a lot of pink. Uh, these ones um, were really strange, they're sewed down the middle so you have like a pocket here and you have a pocket here. A lot of people liked them for slipping into their Midori's. Um, so I, I bought this way before I even had a Midori. So there's a, the camera on there and then um, the moustaches on the back. So I've had, this is probably one of my oldest ones from Typo. And then I have um, the same sort of style with the two zippers and it's sewed down the middle and on the front it has um, teacups and on the back it has just a floral print. I think I bought these at the same time because sometimes they do offers like two for one or buy one get one half price so these ones get a lot of use and these ones are more plastic they're like um, not not fabric like the other ones and Old Faithful you've seen him in a few videos he's getting a bit old now but my little bear and I still adore him and he's got polka dots on the inside and he just He's a great little on the go, just chuck your pens in and go sort of thing. And he's obviously cute. Oh, he's seen better days. His glasses are all stained, but he's been loved. He's been loved. Still one of my very favorite ones. And this is my newest typo one. It was um, sent to me. Well, I bought it. Oh, she, I went looking for it at my typo. Couldn't find it. And another girl from one of my Aussie planner groups found a stash of them at her typo. So this is the one I put in my Midori sometimes. So it's so down the side, um, down the middle. And they have um, pockets in here, like card pockets. The zip and the zip. And then also... Um, it has little poppers so you can pop it and it just becomes a dual pencil case like that so you don't have to use it becomes like a uh, all-in-one storage so you can get to your card slots from here 
Sometimes I use it in my Midori if I want to just take it and some pens, but it does bulk up your um, Midori a lot. So that one's more fabric-y from Typo. Um, you've seen this one a lot. I get a lot of comments on this one. This is actually a knitting project bag, and I can't remember where I got it from, but I do love it it's got ink and stains as you can tell I love it very much and when I just want to chuck in a whole heap of stuff and not worry so I'll fill it and then I'll just um, close the little drawstrings like that and it's like a pouch of pens it's still one of my very favorite ways to carry a whole heap of supplies around the house and I get a lot of comments on this one and I've got no idea um, I've had it for quite a few years now, so I don't even know if you... You could probably sew this one really easily. I'm not a sewer. I have I have best friends to help me sew things. So there's my little project pouch. And this one was a relatively new one. It has little cats on it. It's from our Aussie Target. Um, I like that. I, I'm really enjoying the clear pencil cases at the moment. I have another one, which is my current use, my one that I'm currently using. This one is is not holding up too well. It wasn't very expensive, and the sides are starting to split. So um, I'm going to probably start using it in my handbag because I don't want to lose pencils out the side gaps. So this one's very cute with the little cat illustrations all over it. And where else can I go from here? This one was a um, Christmas gift from my girlfriend Josie and it's a pink leather pen case and it has a room in here for, you know, as uh, probably about three pens. That's all I put in there. Probably if there were thinner pens, you could fit more in there. Um, I put my fancier sort of pens in this one. Um, my Gilio uh, fountain pen and my... Um, this one, my retro one, goes. my tornado, goes in here as well when it's being um, toted about. So this is for my fancier pens. And then I also have um, this little leather one that was a gift from my girlfriend Michelle. And I normally um, would put my, um, my Lamy in here and then slip that onto the cover of my Giramondo. Giramondo's here. So I would slip that on there when I want to carry it, my fountain pen and away I go. So that's how I would use that one. And that's just, I would only put a single pen in. I didn't want to bulk it up too much. Everyone's cringing as I pull off the, the clip from my Duramondo. So there is that leather, single leather one. I have um, the Orla... Kylie or Keely, I'm not quite sure how you guys say it over there. This one um, normally gets put into my handbag as well when we go out on family trips. This one gets filled with hand sanitizer, band aids, because Lily is the clumsiest person alive, um, pawpaw ointment, um, a little can of um, deodorant, that sort of stuff. So it's sort of like our family emergency kit when we go out as a family. Because if I don't bring this or pack this, Lily will find a way to fall and hurt herself and cut herself or something. So it's mainly it's mainly Lily's emergency kit. It's not very often that any of us need it besides Boo. So there's this little cute print. And I also have um, the this one here. And sometimes I take this one um, with art supplies in it and fill it up with bits and bobs and pens and things like that. Um, I've also used it as a makeup case when I wanted to go very minimal and I wanted to travel with it. So I have this one and I also have the, um, while we're on the Orla Kylie train, the big, um, the big tote. Big, um, I used to put my planners in here when I was toting around an A5 and being all hardcore, but now this one um, goes into my suitcase when I travel. So I normally have my makeup brushes in here and stuff like that. And um, I think last time I actually took it filled with markers and my art journal on this side and that sort of stuff when I went to go visit my parents. Um, so this one does get used quite a lot when I go out and I'm going to Melbourne at the end of this week so it will be in use again 
and my battery is already flashing because I probably didn't charge my battery. High five for stupidity. This one was a gift from my girlfriend Lisa. It is a cute little um, case and it has like a bigger pocket and a smaller pocket and this one also detaches so you can just have it I use this a lot when I was just doing um, small projects and wanted to just do a little bit of like line work and things you can fit like your, your ruler and a couple of um, pens and you just pop them in here and away you go and it was perfect for really minimal days when I didn't want to take a lot of things I do change my pencil cases out quite a bit depending on what I take um, so this one, I get. I used to get a lot of questions about this one. I'm not sure where she got it from, um, but I'm. Uh, she bought herself one and me one, and it's been really good for minimal drawing days. And then, where should I head to next? This is probably my oldest one. Um, I found it in an op shop or a thrift store, charity store, whatever you want to call it. I think it was like 20 cents. And I don't know why, but I needed it in my life. And I never use it because it's so small and not that much fits in it. But when you open it up, it come, the little levels come out. And I probably could um, put a few little odds and ends in here I think I've tried to fill it a few times and because I'm such an overstuffer um, I could probably get away with a couple of colored pencils up the top and that and then that would probably be it or I could probably put my half pans in here if I wanted something really and my paintbrush is down here actually that's a really good idea I might do that <laughs> and see how that works out I'll report back if it's a hit or not but it's one of my favorites and I don't, my husband's tried to get me to throw it away and I'm like, no, no, I must keep it. I must keep it. But, um, it's really cute and I love, I love all things Japanese basically. So this one is sentimental pen, little pencil case and now I'm going to try and make it a portable watercolor set. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, where to next? So my husband goes away quite a bit for work and um, sometimes he gets upgraded to either premium economy or um, business class and on Qantas they give out um, like little um, packs and things and so they come with these cute little uh, Kate Spade um, toiletry bags but I actually use them as pencil cases so I have this one which is my newest edition from his last trip and then this one which I really love um, so he actually specifically asked for the women's one so that he can bring me home a new case so he's 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 a keeper that one he's a keeper he's like he doesn't care about them at all so he always says can I have the woman's one for my wife so high five for relationship goals so these are my two little Kate Spade ones and then I have what probably one of my favorites my girlfriend Nikki picked this up for me after she showed a picture on our planner group and I used this probably in my top five because of how big it is and um, oh, there's a button from my beanie from New York trip I took this to um, New York with my supplies in it because my big Daniel Smith palette actually fits inside with no issues at all and there's still heaps of room so I would pack it with that and my watercolors and my pens and things um, so this is a really handy one and it's really um, sturdy material and it just wipes down and it's got deers on it so like why wouldn't I love it to death so this is um, by the brand Anorak so I'm not quite sure if that's just an Aussie brand or not but I am totally in love with the deer case I'm just piling them up next to me um, moving on to Kiki K um, I got this one I think two years ago or a year ago it is um, leather with gold polka dots it's meant to be a clutch and you know I don't have a fancy enough lifestyle to require a clutch so it's now a pencil case and it's got the um, zipper pocket at the front it's got the it's got white little um, crosses and gold polka dots and inside it's quite deep and it also has a separate I put my drawing pens in here and then my pencils and everything else in there so if I just want to grab a pen I can just get into that little compartment there and it has the this bit I've considered taking it off but pff, I'd lose it if I took it off so this is softening up quite nicely 
this is no longer available obviously but they do bring out various um, types of this same sort of style um, and I do use this one quite a lot and I get a lot of compliments on this in photos and things so there's that one this is probably one of my newest additions it's from a brand here in Australia called Smiggle it is mainly geared towards um, children like a children's stationery brand but um, I I'm going to be doing a um, traveling what's in my travel art supplies and I was looking for something that would carry everything um, so this little thing has lots of little compartments and um, zippers and things and there's this little zipper compartment down here and then it had this and this detaches so I was considering using this for my travel um, travel art supply video but I'm still on the fence so it's still brand new I haven't used this one yet but I should probably do a test run and see if it'll fit all my things so there's this one from Smiggle lots of compartments in this one this is like a Mary Poppins pencil case kind of deal and I have my fantastic oh my tower of pencil cases is about to fall down um, my Kipling 100 pens case which was a uh, Christmas gift last year from my darling friend Michelle and she bought me the paint splatter one and in oh, oh my god I didn't realize I had more cases in here oh sprung I am such a hoarder um, I'll get to those obviously these have um, markers in it, Marvy markers that my girlfriend sent me to try. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like these though. Uh, they'd be good for just um, you know general doodling and stuff, but they do bleed through most papers as I've tested. But um, I also keep them in here to hide them from Lily. So there's quite a lot of markers in here. I do I did use this a lot for traveling but when I want to go minimal this is not the way to go I took this to New York though filled with um, bits and bobs so I might put that over there because my tower is about to fall this is another one of my typo pencil cases everyone knows I'm the deer lady um, my pet name for my husband is Bambi so I collect deer things it's just got a Tim Holtz um, little doobalacky that says artful on it and um, also a little charm here that says my name and this is oh there's something in here let's see oh it's little charms so I've got like a little random little charm stuck in the corner I think I took this to my mum's last time because that looks like stuff I've sort of pilfered from my mum's craft room so this is the jewel zip as well and it has the um, gingham print on the back Oh, more pencil cases than I expected. This one is just a cute little one from Daiso. I can never go past the little cases in Daiso, man. They're so cool. Um, I use this one in my handbag when I have um, too many lip products, basically. I have a few handbag ones, but um, because it's such a small opening, it's hard to get um, longer pens and things in this one. And this one's just a coin purse that happened to get lugged into it. One of the Target ones, I think. And this is one of my favorites. It was a gift, a wedding gift from my um, girlfriend Alicia. And I actually, when I travel, I put all my electronic cords and things in this thing um, because it's such a big thing. I also took it to my hen's night too. Um, so it's got a massive opening. So I put all my charges and batteries and all that sort of thing. And I know that it fits everything. Um, I love this. I also have a matching brooch for this that she sent me. She knows me so well. This is one of my favorite, favorite cases. And then we're going to hit the last one, which is my, my current one. This is also from Kiki K. It's currently in their store at the moment. Um, it's their clear pencil case with the gold zip. And so I have all the things that I'm kind of using at the moment. Um, so I have my water brush. I bought this um, on the weekend. It's a pacer that holds pink lead, so I'm um, enjoying drawing in pink at the moment. Uh, white, oh, just bang the camera. White Signo um, Uni Ball pen and adhesive, and I have a couple of alcohol markers in here, and I don't know why because they bleed through my Midori paper. So I have some skin tones and a pink, which I might put back. 
have my normal pacer and I have my little portable stencils that I got from Daiso and I have my um, Mono Zero um, eraser so it's a little square one for detailed rubbing out and I also have my big ugly one. Another water brush because you know can't have too many and what else? I have my Artline Smooth pen that you guys know that I use a lot. I have a random date stamp with no stamp pad because that's how I roll. And this has actually become my new favorite journaling pen. It is the Pilot Dr. Grip Full Black. And it's a really um, dark, dark black. And it has a rubber grip. And I actually bought it for John. And it never made it to John's work place. So it's now mine. Um, I have a pencil cap. And I have the um, pink replacement leads. And I have my Unipin Fine Line in 0 0.2. And I have the um, Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, which I am still yet to use. I'm intimidated by it, but I'm going to force myself to use it soon. And this is what my um, watercolor, some of my watercolors currently live in. There is a watercolor video coming um, with my favorites. And um, I just got to get my last bit of my details. So there, there's a couple of my colors that I'm currently using in here. So it's really compact and small. Um, I was using my Badger, but he was a bit too big for what I needed at the time. So I'm currently using this cute little tin that came with like Japanese um, stickers and things. So I've just double sided tape down the bottom. I've moved a bit because my it does get beaten around a bit, but that's basically what is in this at the moment. But I will be doing a, I have quite a few videos lined up since I've been absent. I've been making a list of things that I want to film. So there'll be a what's in my travel art supply video and um, also the watercolor video, the watercolor palette video that I'm doing and a few other bits and bobs. And also a journal with me is coming. So I have also a review of a new thing that I'm currently using. Um, and that should be about it. But I know there is also um, uh, two pencil cases that are not in this video. One is a giant um, pencil case that my girlfriend Sally made me for Christmas one year with an applique deer on it. It's currently MIA. Um, I think Lily might have nicked it, so I need to try and track her down, and you'll probably see that randomly in a video. And also, my girlfriend Ellie has just shown me an Alice in Wonderland and Dear pencil case to put my Prisma colors in, that I so I can put that inside here, so my Prisma colors don't mark my PVC. So that is being posted to me. She's beautiful, and um, I asked her if she could make it for me because she's my go-to sew girl, and um, she sewed it up last night. So you'll probably see that in a video coming because it's adorable and I love Alice in Wonderland and Dears and it's got both. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick, well it's not quick, it's 23 minutes. I'm such a time thief. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my pencil case collection if you want. Um, if you have any questions or anything or some video suggestions, please um, leave a comment below. I won't be doing a studio tour just yet because there's still chaos on this side of the room. Um, so I won't be filming that anytime soon. Um, I need to watch this back and make sure it's not too bouncy. Fingers crossed. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, thank you for subscribing. I've, I'm almost at um, 7,500 subscribers. And that is mind-blowing. So thank you for that. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon or morning. Whichever the side of the world you are. And I'll see you guys soon.